Hello, <laughs> welcome and uh, good afternoon to, to Darkshed Live. I always forget to change that audio setting just before I start broadcasting. Should be good to go now. Uh, how's it all going? Uh, it's probably on Sunday the 26th of April. Uh, it's episode 9 of Darkshed Live. Thank you for joining again. Uh, last week was a bit of a mixed bag. I think I started selected a print um, from a contact sheet that was made um, and just created a first test strips and first print of that. And then unfortunately I had to divert into another project that I was working on. Uh, so I talked about that a bit on Thursday. So check that out. That was uh, mural prints from a camera obscura uh, in using black and white negative paper, paper and RA for reversal. Um, let's just... Pop that out. So, oh, it's gorgeous day outside today. Don't know about you, but uh, inside is not not great. Um, what else is going on? Hi, Mark. <laughs> it's World Pinhole Day, apparently. <laughs> I haven't shot a pinhole in God knows how long. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I don't know, I wasn't particularly inspired to do that today. Something's just fallen over. Uh, I hope you're all uh, you're shooting your pinholes. Wasn't it Polaroid week last week as well or something? I don't know. I think I shot a couple of Instax. Are Instax allowed for Polaroid week? I didn't post them. Anyway. Uh, oh, Mark's just joined us. Uh, and David. Hello, David. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with civilization. Hopefully you can help me a bit. Um, so today I put a call out earlier because uh, I didn't have a clue what I was going to do today. I hadn't prepped anything. Uh, and Al came back. Hopefully he's either here or joining us soon. Um, and he suggested what about doing some solarization. I've never done that before. So I'm kind of aware of what the technique is. I had a quick look about it. Um, a bit of research. And it looks like... It's fairly straightforward in concept, but there's a lot of variables there, uh, whether you actually kind of get a result or not. Um, and then he also suggested, what else did he suggest? Um, putting different mediums between uh, the projected image and the paper to give a texture. Uh, that's something I have done before. Um, I did that uh, I did that with the camera obscuras actually. Um, when I was making the contact print, I used different materials um, as I projected the light to create those to give different effects, which was quite interesting. But I thought, sod it, why not? <laughs> why not combine those two and uh, go a bit crazy and try and do solarization, but then use a mask while the solarization phase is like during the solarization phase um, to control that. Or to give some different effects. I've got no idea if it's going to work. I've never tried solarization before, so we're going to struggle a bit with that uh, to start with, I expect. So what I've done as a quick bit of prep is I've chosen uh, an image to use today. And um, this is the image I've gone for. The examples I saw of solarization, um, I saw one with some clouds and it looked great. So um, I decided to dig out an old neg that I had. I, I really liked some clouds that I took. Did my test strip on the left, as you can see, and then I produced final print. That's taken me about half an hour to get to that phase of that. Um, so that's the image I'm going to use for solarization. Um, Dave's just come in and said different papers react differently. Great. <laughs> That's what you want to hear, isn't it? More variables. Uh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? So what I've um, got set up is I've predetermined my exposures for that print. Um, so I know what I'm doing with that. And then the tray setup for solarization. Hopefully you can still hear me today. My audio should still work as I walk around the room. Fingers crossed. Um, this is, we've got the developer, stop and fix and water wash, but the stop is definitely just water today because the concept is that you start to develop the print and then during the development process, you take it out of the developer and expose it to more light, a very small amount of light, 
and then you put it back in the developer. Um, I'm not too sure on what's actually going on, but I, I think that you're developing part of the image and the bits that aren't developed, you're then exposing to more light, which then flips them. Is that right? You have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong in that. And then you redevelop that. So you get these kind of like halo effects to it. Um, and it's all completely dependent on at what point you take it out of the developer, um, how much light you give it, um, and the image, of course. Um, if you've had any experience with uh, solarization, please put some comments in so we can kind of hopefully get ahead of the game with this <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, oh, Dave's come in. Did I delete the dev a little extra? No, is that a thing to do? I assume that's to slow the development process down so like you're not grabbing it at a very specific time. Um, I'm using reverses the ionization or something. Yeah, that's what I read as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I haven't diluted, diluted the dev. Uh, I've got it mixed at one plus nine. Um, I might, I, I briefly recall reading that as well. Um, so I think I will dilute that down. Um, let's let's do that to start with. I'll probably just what, shall I halve it? Let's go for that. Uh, I just need to get another jug. Speak now if you think halving is too much. Although the delay on this isn't going to be much cut because, uh, obviously, I won't have a clue. That will be too late. Right, so let's see. That's the 50%, so what's that? That's 1 plus 19 now. Thereabouts. Okay. Throw some extra water in. I've, I've kind of done it a bit more controlled than that. <laughs> um, but yeah, just chuck some water in. That sounds good to me as well. So, what I've done is I've pre exposed. Um, Bong, just to try and get ahead of the game, I've pre exposed some um, paper to those settings. Um, and so I can just pull them out and try them. And I've actually cut some up into test strips because otherwise we're just going to burn through paper like doing this. Um, so let's start with a, a test strip and, and go with that. So, see what comments come in. Alex is saying, I didn't dilute when I tried, but it took multigrade for about 10 seconds before I snatched it out. Okay, right, so I'm using multigrade 5, which um, actually something I've noticed in comparison between 4 and 5 is the image doesn't appear until a lot later in multigrade 5. Um, yeah, and this is, I'm using R, uh, the RC as well, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so hopefully, with it diluted, that should mean that it's two minutes development. Um, let's just have a look at and see what times we're kind of getting for the development of those. So let's just change that. All the fun stuff's happening in the trays today, so we'll bring that up full screen. Let's go for it. Right, so I've got the timer um, there. I've got my pre exposed paper here. I'm not going to turn the light on. I want to try and control this as much as possible, so I'm going to use my uh, off camera flash again, which is probably going to be too powerful, but I'm going to point it at the ceiling and have it on its lowest power and see what that does. Um, so, yeah, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is just kind of see what time the image starts to appear and then 
move around from that. Oh, where should I put that? Okay, let's put this on a two minute timer now. In we go. Right. Right, so I've got my water bath here. I'm going to go straight into that with it. That should greatly reduce that. It will stop it, but it will reduce the speed of the development. And then that's what gives you your time to actually do the solarization. So we're 25 seconds in. I think this image just appearing. Uh, 30 seconds. It's exciting, isn't it? 40 seconds. Forty-five. I can just see it appearing now, so I'm going to go for it. That's 50 seconds I'm taking it out. I want consistency when I'm doing this. So, I'm going to put it in that water bath. And get the flash. And, oh, there's a small delay. <laughs> I've lost the button. Fire the flash at it. Out of the water bath, back into the developer. Now here's something that I didn't think about. Is like, do you have to put it back in the developer for the full time at this point? Or are we just going back in for the rest of the time? We'll find out. So once I kind of, if I can get consistency with this, it seems to be going quite dark now. Um, then the next phase will be introducing a mask before I fire the flash for the solarization, because then hopefully we can control areas and maybe add textures to the, uh, that's the original time, Let's take that out. So the areas that weren't exposed in the frame, I can see that they're, because they've been exposed to the flash, they're starting to darken as well. Um, I think that's just way too much light in the flash, unfortunately. So that's in the fix. So let me know what your thoughts on are uh, on regards what's happened during that. I think that's too much light from the flash that's caused that to happen. Um, it's going to say hello. Well, that's quite interesting, though. There is definitely, I won't bother doing a full fix on that. Uh, it's quite, it's very, it's gone very kind of silvery looking. Uh, it's quite interesting. Right. Here we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Flat out when it looks good. Don't take the dev to completion like normal prints. Wait a little later to flash. Okay. So lots of options there um, on how to control that. Um, right, let's give it another go. So I took the last one out at 40. Those suggesting to do everything by eye, which is quite a... nice way of doing it really. Unfortunately, I don't trust myself to, uh, to get it the same every time. And I kind of like a bit of consistency uh, between what I'm doing. So let's go in. Thirty. I'll take it out forty again. Thirty. 
There it is. Trip. There we go. Okay, different part of the image as well. Oh dear. Right, and this time I'm actually just going to point the flash at the ceiling instead. So hopefully, less light. Back into the developer. See what we get. What I might do is just for consistency is leave that in until this time ago. So it's going to be two minutes development in total. This, uh, this image was from part of a series I was doing, um, I think it is F, oh, I can't remember what I shot this with, this massively pushed FP4 or HP5, I think this is the FP4 one, it was part of a series on, um, it's capturing um, planes flying overhead, and kind of composition in, in, within the clouds, and uh, <laughs> I can't even do that at the moment because there are no planes flying overhead, are there? <laughs> Clear blue skies, no planes. One advantage is the amount of wildlife we seem to be getting is phenomenal at the moment. Obviously, that's nothing really to do with the planes, but um, right, that's possibly looking a bit overdone again. I'll just wait for that to, to fix and turn the lights on. I wonder if I can get some sort of way of seeing the comments in, in the dark, maybe put like a, a red filter over a tablet screen or something like that. Right, well that's looking quite interesting. Is that looking any different? Just looks a bit darker. Um, let's pull those out into the print area so you can see that. Right, so there's the original exposure comparison. And there's the one with the solarization. Little section, it's this section here, isn't it? It's not looking overly what I'd call solarized, but um, it's just putting those in so you can see them. Right, what have we got? They saying I like my time too much. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I like um, I like repeatability. <laughs> so I can always, uh, I, I get I get distracted quite easily, I guess. Um, or not like things come along and I end up doing something else. So if I can't come back and repeat the process, um, I don't want to kind of have to do it five times till I'm at the point where I was again. That makes sense. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do the next one without a timer and just do it by inspection. Is just looking at these, it's just quite interesting. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, it kind of just looks a bit fogged rather than solarized. Um, now, does that need taking out later, earlier, more powerful flash? less powerful flash definitely what we're saying here more light definitely more light yeah okay right let's do another test strip then thank you for the input everybody <laughs> it's nice to actually have like <laughs> See you later, David. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, <laughs> see you soon. Cheers, mate. Right, let's. Is that the one I wanted? No. 
Just go to that plain one. Right, let's do the next strip. Right, so what do we say? More light. Probably should have put the power up on the flash before I. Uh... Okay, in we go. Let's start time up. So Al, did you I think you said that you'd done some solarization stuff? Um, have you found any kind of correlation between the sort of images, sort of negs that work well? Um, how you can kind of get guaranteed to kind of almost get the effect. Are there any guarantees? All right, there's 40 seconds. We'll leave it in a bit longer. Let's do a whole minute. Ooh, it's getting dark now. All right, there's a minute into the water, a good coating, flash, there we go, and back into the developer. I should probably do some more research on it, um, there's probably loads of information out there isn't there? So this, you see I've changed two variables at once here. This is not the right way to work. <laughs> um, I took it out after 60 seconds rather than 40 and I've increased the power of the flash. What is quite interesting is the white area that hasn't had any exposure on it. it doesn't seem to have gone dark this time, even though the flash power was stronger. Maybe that is what we actually need to do. Okay, I'll turn the lights on to see what that's like. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, I think getting some of this actually, because what that's done is even though the flash was stronger, the yeah, I think possibly similar time of taking it out, but with even brighter power on the flash. What do people think? can't see the effect but um, I think that's possibly more down to the fact that the, uh, the flash wasn't powerful enough than that. Uh, let's just bring that up so you can see the prints. Uh, it's found that high key images worked well uh, and simple ones to the front of white background yeah I've seen um, I've seen similar kind of still life images actually that worked really well. So Alex is saying that you use room light with a flick on and off. Try three seconds, two seconds. Shadow can try. Uh, so yeah, you've got to you've got to work out what light source you're going to use for it. 
Um, so which one actually ended up working at the three seconds and two seconds was that well, do you need more light for the solarization part or less light um, I think the example I saw it was a route like so I used a very low powered light pointed at the ceiling um, but I don't know how that translates to a flash so yeah, right let's, uh, let me give this another go Right. Um. for a full print. Sorry about that, just faffing around with the dark bag. Right, so I'm going to put the power up again. Let's try that. stick and in. So bigger piece of paper, might want to take it out a bit earlier. The tongs out of the way so they don't stop the paper going into the water. I'm going for a minute. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the right sort of image. Really, I, I just saw one example of some clouds, and it was just stunning. Um, but it's slightly different to this. Oh, I've not, not paying attention. So that's okay. Right, anyway, there's a minute. Bring that off into the water wash. Make sure it's covered and fire the flash. And then back into the developer. Oh, this would be so easy to get through a shed load of paper. Should probably work with a smaller size print while experimenting with this. Right. In there. I do I've probably change that water wash because every time I use it, I'm a print developer in it. So, so I'm, if I'm using that to stop the development for the solarization, the more I use it, the less that's going to happen. I don't know how significant that would be. I think I possibly need to do some test strips with the flash without an exposure on it. I don't know, it, it, are the white areas supposed to be fogged during this process? Um, I don't know. Yet. Let's put that on. 
Has it made any difference? <laughs> no, I don't think it has. Yeah, it just looks... Maybe it does. A little... Oops. I don't know if that's 30 seconds. I'm just guessing. Just to get it in there. Right, okay, so what is everybody saying about these massive failures? <laughs> um, Alex ended up using a room light. Uh, the flicking on and off seemed to be enough, but enough of the image had developed previously that shouldn't be affected. Okay, so it's, a, it's areas that haven't been developed yet that are going to be affected by the light. Um, and we're suggesting to maybe take it out a little earlier and a higher flash. Maybe I'll test your flashlight with yeah, I'll test it with a test strip um, just to work out when it's actually having an effect. Because I don't think it's powerful enough at the moment. Let's just take these out and compare them side by side. Okay. All right, so that's the base print. This was 50 seconds, taking it out at 50, no, taking it out at 60 seconds. And yeah, it just looks, just looks a bit fogged. Um, quite nice though, a bit less. It actually helps tame the highlights a bit in this, this image. I'm um, pre -fashing. If the flash is enough, the highlight should go dark, the rest should stay the same. Right, so that, thanks Dave, that's basically, that is suggesting that the flash power I've got at the moment um, isn't anywhere near enough. Well, I haven't said that, they are starting to go here. So I think it's getting there, isn't it? It's just, it's just not enough. Right, I need to cut some test strips. Just go back to uh, the tray. There we go. Cut some test strips. That over the chemicals. So I'm going to ramp the power and the flash up. Massively. There we go. I'll put up to maximum power. Right. What else could I try? So any suggestions for, if we get to the point where this is working, um, suggestions for things to mask with, like one option is just simply doing a straight mask and choosing which areas to be solarized. Uh, the other one is maybe using different materials, uh, so then you get like a texture to the areas that are solarized. Um, so yeah, if you've got any suggestions and ideas to what to do with that. Okay, nearly there. All right, I'm taking it out. That a minute. Flash. Oh, wrong button. Failed. Okay. 
and back in the developer. It might not work so well with this this image, but if you've got like um, the Alex is saying about like a flower in front of a white background, um, adding a masking layer is going to you're going to really see it on that white background, I assume. So that could work really well. Uh, whereas something like this, because it's got quite a lot of complexity in the image, you might not see the effect of the masking so well. Right, so this is quite interesting. The unexposed areas, even though it's maximum flash, it only looks like that, the, the bottom of the print where, which was masked out on the easel, is only darkened slightly, but the image has gone very dark. And I'm waiting in that bath for. Okay, put the lights on that. Oh yes. Now we're getting somewhere. It's very uh, flat effect to it, so it's bring that over there. Yeah, I'll just take this one out of the thing. There we go. Right, that is starting to look a lot more than what I was I was expecting from this. So that's that area there. Now it's very Kind of washed out and flat. Um, like I'm saying the weak dev wash might also be pulling up the highlights. Yeah, I should probably change that water. Um, David says, Oh, something exposed with enlarger. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well. Um, But that's definitely creating, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's sort of, it's going in the direction of what I'd expect from a solarized image. Uh, it looks kind of silvery. It's just very, very flat. Uh, so what I might do then quickly is just do one, Do another exposure. Uh, right, so what I'll do now is I'll do another exposure um, with the enlarger, but I'll underexpose it so there are more highlight areas. It's going to get noisy for a second as I turn the enlarger on. Have a look at my settings for this. 16 seconds. Let's 
I've got this set as twelfths ones. Let's take half the stop off. Don't know if that's enough, but it's worth a go. Straight for it again. Paper burn. And flash. Oh, I think I changed the mode on the flash as well last time, so I don't even know what it was firing at. seconds. Might need a bit longer this time because it was underexposed. Doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go for that. It's a minute again. Okay. I'm going to follow the flash. Oh, what I should do is set that up on a Tripod with a remote trigger to keep that nice and consistent as well. Back in the developer. Hey, hey, hey. So that was a reduced exposure time on the enlarger, uh, but that shouldn't affect the areas that are masked out in the front on the easel. Um, I think I must have had the flash set up wrong on the last one. I didn't actually know how bright it was. <laughs> right, do that again. had the flash set up correctly all along. I don't even know what I'm aiming for. Ah, oh, and that's wrong as well. I turn, so the timer thing resets when I turn the enlarger off, which obviously I don't normally do, but just to try and reduce the noise on this.
Maybe I should just use the room light rather than the flash. If you use, um, if you were to use a flash, right, it's coming out. Uh, different filters on the flash to control the contrast of the solarization. That work. Gonna do it, Dave. Taking it out before the time's up. Too late. Taking it out too late. <laughs> Damn. Well, this is not successful today, is it? at all. I guess this is life in the dark room. It's a it's a weird thing thinking people are watching you know because it kind of <laughs> immediately feeling like a pressure to get it right. Well it's quite nice. <laughs> it's weird. But uh, it looks quite interesting. <laughs> right. So, what, what's day <laughs> Uh So do I film during Dev? I'm sorry, I'm speaking about the same version of it. Uh, this time, you just need to reduce the flash or hit it later, I think. If you reduce the flash and hit it at the same time, you'll get more reversal. Later, you'll just change the highlights. I like to say, it's all part of the dark room experience. Sometimes it works first time. Uh, I like that it's not been working because it's more yeah. <laughs> that's I kind of like that's one thing I wanted to do with these streams is like I didn't want to create videos that were like an edited form of like you only see the success and it's like almost like a tutorial. Like it's not the reality of of this of this time for me. Of, um, and I like to explore and experiment and a big part of that is making mistakes and getting it wrong and sometimes on the way you have these happy accidents that you find something that you're you're interested in um so let's just take this image out now because actually really quite like what's happened there screen so you can see it um so yeah it's certainly not the look i was expecting to get i was i, I thought this was going to produce kind of more that sort of like halo effect um but it, i guess this is all down to the timings Ugh, stuck to the <laughs> sheet um the timings and everything uh, i think this effect here 
I don't know how well you can see that is um it's produced from firing the flash through uh, the surface of the water so you kind of get ripples like a ripple effect on the top of it um which is i can guess that's kind of what we're, we're thinking about masking anyway um yeah it's quite quite interesting it's, it's certainly unique there's no there's no replicating that um, even though I tried my hardest to, to, to repeat, fail to repeat everything. I don't think I could ever produce that again. Exactly the same way. So yeah, let's just have a quick... Uh, thanks Alex. Uh, do, 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 do. Dave says... You notice the margin is darker than some of the clouds. That's how you know it's solarization and not just pre-flash. Right, so because this is darker than, say, these areas here, that's the solarization taking place. Have we got that right? And the ripples from all shows, yeah. But yeah, that's... That is quite an interesting um, effect in itself, I think, those ripples. Um, I've seen that before when doing, what was I doing? Reversal, black and white reversal process. I tried using a flash for that after doing, um, like doing the inversion phase and got ripples from that. And it's, it's actually quite an interesting, interesting look to it. Right, so what time are we on? Five, two, three. Should I do one more? Are you guys hanging around for a bit longer? I'll do another one, see what we get. Um, I think the thing that I'm not really consistent with at the moment. So what do we think for this, this one? Is it a change in light? power or does it need to be in longer or a shorter time before I take it out of the dev? Put your uh, comments in the in the chat um, and I'll do a test with that. I I think I'm moving the flat, not using the flash to give exactly the same power on the every time, every time as well. So I'm not, not getting much consistency there. Um. Dev to just on the mid tones, Mark is saying. Do, 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 do. Okay. Right, let's do another one then. I'm going to keep the power the same. Just change exposure time. Just change that for you so you can actually see the trays. Uh, right. Harder on. This is going to have to be my last one for today because uh, ah, it's Sunday. The sun is shining. It's probably time to spend some quality time in the garden. 
Right, so I've got the flash set to the same power. Let's do this. Didn't start timer. So I've been taking it out a minute before. Mark saying take it out uh, just at the mid tones, which is a really tricky thing to do on this image because once it starts to appear, it appears very quickly. Um, I don't know if it's this type of paper, like the new MG5. Um, it seems to take quite a long time to appear, but when it does, it, it then, then seems to complete quite rapidly. So there we are, I think that's the mid tones coming through there. Let's get it out. Yeah, a good wash over, fire the flash. Back in the dev. What we might do is just actually throughout this to inspection now. If oh, it's looking good. Black's looking nice, still got highlights, this is what I'm looking for the change in now. Okay, I'm gonna take it out now. Uh, too late, I think. <laughs> Yep. No, I've messed up with that, the power on that flash because uh, I'm not really watching what I was doing. But there we go. Right, I'll um, I've written everything down, so I can come back to that at some point. I'll give it another go. Oh, it's not looking too bad. Maybe I'll turn the lights on too quick there. <laughs> Oh, actually, that looks really nice. Okay. Um, that's... So, yeah, this is actually looking like the last one I really like, but not overpowered. Um, it's kind of got that like, wet plate look around it. There's a bit like a browny, silveryness to it. That makes sense. Let's just take it out and do a side by side so you can see it. It's a very quick wash. There we go. Pull that. There we go. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's a unique looking print. Annoyingly, I've got like a, a hole in the negative just there. Um, So yeah, there's a little, I don't think you can see it on that camera, little black mark. Um, but yeah, as a, a unique print, I quite like the look of that. Yeah, definitely worth experimenting with different images as well. Right, on that note, I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, Thanks for all the input today. It's, bit, it's, it's great. It's great to kind of just chat through things and just try stuff out and fail <laughs> and uh, hope to succeed and just try different stuff. Uh, so Alex, thank you very much for prompting me to, to have a go at this because like I said, I've never done it before. So and that's what I'm really interested in doing. Um, you also asked about different toners, uh, which is something I have done before. 
uh, but I'm just I'm not set up to do it at the moment. So I'll add that to my list of things and just work it in at some point. Uh, thank you very much for the requests. Um, take care of yourselves and uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Did you both got um, just quickly? You both got your films, the expired films through. Is that right? Um, look forward to seeing the results. Oh, Mark, your camera looks amazing um, with the, the history behind it. So uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing the images that you make for the film. Uh, and on that note, take care and uh, see you all soon. Bye.